Hey gang, in this video, we want to talk about being able to adapt. So I'm Ron from ITMasterKey.com, and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So being able to adapt is super important. With how fast things are going, how fast technology is moving, just how fast life is moving, you got to be able to adapt. 2021 felt like it was three months long. 12 months went by super fast. Even myself, I'm having to adapt. I'm having to overcome some uh, obstacles. Well, not obstacles, inconveniences. For for example, I just moved into my home and, you know, all my stuff is still in boxes. That's why I'm kind of recording this uh, on my cell phone. I don't have my office and stuff set up yet. One of the other biggest things was I was really shying away from TikTok. Now, a lot of you guys on here are late 20s all the way up to early 40s. So when you hear TikTok, uh, ta -ta, ta -ta, what is that? TikTok. When you hear TikTok, you probably got the same or had the same feeling towards it or reaction that I had anytime I hear it. Would just roll my eyes like, I don't like it. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to do anything with it. And for a long time, I shied away from TikTok. Not adapting, not changing. Why am I talking about TikTok? So I read several articles and they said that TikTok was the number one. It's definitely the number one social media platform, but it was the number one search website in 2021. Over Facebook, over YouTube, over Instagram, over Google. It was the number one search website. Now, does TikTok have the sustainability? I don't know. But TikTok right now is on fire. And the growth potential for TikTok is amazing. So you have to learn how to adapt. You have to stop waiting. Things are moving way too fast, like way too fast for you to be waiting. You're going to actually wait and end up phasing yourself out. I've had several students, right, several students who have been following me for years and they're still waiting. Excuse me, so they're not students. I don't know what the hell I said that. They're just, I don't know, spectators, right? They've been waiting to get into tech, waiting for the right time, waiting for, I don't really know, man. Now, me, for example, I'm a big proponent of imperfect action, meaning that I'd rather something be done than be perfect. That's always better to me because a lot of times you'll have paralysis you know, by analysis, you'll just be thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And then time by the time you're ready to, you know, jump, your parachute is, is, is deteriorated. The strings is rotted out. Uh, the damn backpack got a hole in it, right? You can't even make the jump because you've waited too long. Now, the reason I go so hard with getting you guys into tech is because this is the future. For example, I got... One guy that I know that was a student and it was kind of, I want to say heartbreaking, but it was kind of sad to me because it's just like, I don't understand what's going on with this guy. This guy been working at the post office for almost 20, 20 some years and he's about to retire. Side note, if you aren't in your 50s, 60s or close to retirement, most likely you're going to have to plan your own retirement. If you guys want to talk about that, we can talk about that in another video. But as far as the days of you working for a company 20, 25 years and you think you're about to get a pension or a retirement, unless you plan it yourself, it's probably not, not going to happen. But that's, a, that's a, a topic for another day. So he's slanging packages, right? He in there 50-something years old. He said he got a bad back, knees hurt. And he said that the post office don't care. Like when they say rain, rain or shine, they mean it. It no matter what's going on. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but in Texas, there was a really bad flood, a hurricane called Hurricane Harvey that caused billions of dollars of damage. Um, and he said he was having to deliver stuff or deliver mail during the flood, you know, up to his knees, wading through the water, trying to uh, deliver those packages. So he was just he was said he was fed up. He was tired. It was just so hard. It was just he just couldn't bear it. So. He, when we was on the call for the 
to see if, he, if the program was going to be a good fit for him, he was unsure. He was scared. He was cautious. He wasn't sure if he was going to be able to do it. And I said, hey, man, I got, you know, truck drivers, dishwashers, all kind of people, you know, people that aren't tech savvy. And that's another thing that I don't really like. People say, I'm not really tech savvy. If you got a, if you got a smartphone, you're tech savvy, man. You, you can make it happen. You just got to, just like anything else, you know, when you're trying to learn something new, it's going to be a learning curve. You're not just going to get it as soon as you start using it. It's going to take time. Just like me, when I use a new software or a new program or got to figure out something new, I'm going to suck at it at first. That's how it goes. You're not going to be, you know, the greatest at it. It's like you're trying to learn Japanese and you think you're going to have a full damn conversation with somebody for 48 hours after you learn how to say hello. It's just not going to happen. It don't work like that. So we go through the call. He was worried. I said, man, I think he's going to be fine. Everybody else has been fine. Blah, 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 blah. And this guy, he did, he only made it through the introduction, not the actual coursework. Now, I'll be honest. The, the program is not easy. It works, but it's not easy. It's not meant to be easy. It's meant to get you certified. So anyway, he um, reached out to my assistant and was like, oh, this is kind of difficult. This is kind of hard. You know, I'm having a hard time, you know, figuring stuff out. And I'm like, mm. and, you know, my assistant told me that. I was like, he only made it through the introduction. He isn't even in the coursework yet. So I'm like, okay, let me reach back out here and check this guy's temperature to see what's going on. So I reached back out to him and, you know, we talk. I say, hey, you're going to be okay. You're going to be cool. You know, it's fine. You know, just, you know, just take your time. It's self-paced. You know, we want to get, you know, certified as soon as possible. But, you know, if that's too much of a heavy of a load for you to, for you to carry, you know, it's self-paced. So you can do it, you know, when you want to do it. Anyway, long story short, um, he reached back out with me or to me. And I think he went through like a module or two. And like, yeah, man, it's just, just kind of difficult. And it's kind of, you know, it's red flags. You know, it's red flags. So I told him, I say, hmm. To be honest, oh, and that was another red flag. He couldn't figure out how to turn his damn camera on when we was actually um, going through the call. But, you know, I was just, okay, it's a new system, no big deal. And not, like I said, I've had, you know, 20-year-olds all the way up to 6-year-olds, all the way up to, you know, people that wasn't even around, or excuse me, people that was around before the Internet was even created um, or even thought about or, you know, or even before computers were even popular that's in the course rocking out. So, Anyway, um, I just told him, like, hey, man, I think, um, and he kept on bringing up the word hard. This is hard. This is difficult. This is hard. This is difficult. I just had to ask him, like, you trying to tell me clicking some buttons is harder than slanging them heavy ass packages? And he was like, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying this is, I'm like, look, this is, this is a different thing. Yeah, it's mental, right? Um, but I think your brain, right? Your brain is going to outlast your body, Right. You pick up on the packages wrong, you uh, work too too much or don't stretch, whatever, you, you're going to mess your back up. You're going to throw your back out. And he was like, yeah, I know. You know, it's just uh, it's just difficult. And I just had to tell him, I'm like, hey, man, you know, I'm not here to convince you to do something that's going to be beneficial to your life. So, you know, as to not waste my time and not to waste your time, you know, I'm going to go ahead and refund you. You know, he like, what you mean refund? I'm like, just I'm gonna refund you if this is difficult. Like, if you're, you know, expecting for me to, you know, hold your hand and pretty much take the certification for you, that's that's not that's not this that's not the uh, or this isn't the place for you. Um, and he, you know, thought about it. And was like, okay, I guess that is. I was like, but just remember when you're in there slanging them packages, man, that you know, if later on down the road, um, you wanna, uh, you know, search IT career. You know, you can go somewhere else, you can try something else. But I was like, you already know, you and I both know that your body isn't going to be able to handle the load that you're putting on it. That's why That's why you reached, that's another thing. You reached out to me, man. <laughs> I didn't come looking for you, you came looking for me. But anyway, um, he failed to adapt. And another thing is this, which I always harp, and I told him, I was like, you already know that even if you decide that you do want to work up there till you 70, you're not going to have a job. A mail sorter? A mail sorter? Nah, man. They're they got they going to have machines up there. And he even told me, like, yeah, they already got machines. They got one at the headquarters, and they do all this, da da da, da. And they, we got less people. I'm like, hey, man. And I was like, you know, you never know. Uh, the actual delivery of the mail may be automated one day as well. 
I'm like, you just, I'm like, you can do that, right? You can stay where you at, but you definitely need to get some skills as far as tech is concerned. But like I said, you got to learn how to adapt. It's 2022, January 3rd to be exact, when I'm recording this. And it's going to be December 31st before you know it. I have a to-do list. I'm not saying this is the healthiest thing, but I got a to-do list that if you so much shit on there to do, a lot of times I don't even get a chance to do it all. And I'll be mad at the end of the day just because, you know, I put too much shit on the list. But um, you have to be willing to take opportunities when they present themselves. So a lot of times opportunities present themselves and people are scared. They're unsure. They don't know. And by the time they feel ready, the opportunity isn't there anymore. I, for one, literally, once I make my mind up, I execute. That's it. Just execute, 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 execute. Now, I do research. I look into things and stuff like that. But for the most part, my success has come through massive action. For example, do you know how many people wouldn't have recorded this video? They'd have been thinking about recording it. They'd have been thinking, maybe I need some lights. Oh, man, I need to uh, put on a suit. Uh, I got to damn uh, uh, make a script. Man, when you, know, when you know what you're doing is the right thing to do, when you have a belief in yourself and know that you're helping people, it's just too easy to execute. Even if the, the people that you're helping, you know, praise to the most high, I've been able to help thousands and, you know, eventually millions of people through the internet and videos and podcasts and all this other stuff which reminds me if you are watching this on youtube please subscribe if you are listening to it on the podcast please subscribe to the podcast and you can also join the members only um youtube as well but the point of the video like i said before is just to make sure that you are making sure that you are able to change and adapt because life is moving by fast, man. I don't know if you guys can see or what's going on. And another thing is look at the, 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 the head honchos or the biggest people or people that's moving and shaking. These people are billionaires and they outworking you. Elon is a billionaire and he worked like 70 hours a week. Uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, he's not working 40 hours. Jeff Bezos, he might he might have chilled out because he kind of stepped down from uh, from Amazon, but he's doing other things. Long story short, you get one shot at this, as far as I know. right? As far as I know, there's no reset buttons. I don't think you come back. This is it, man. You get one shot at this, man. So just go hard. Go super hard. You know, leave it all on the table and take risks, take chances, and make it happen. Because once I said, like I said again, just looking at my analytics, late 20s all the way up to early 40s is what listens to me and the things that I put out. So I'll tell you this, the older you get, most likely the more adverse you're going to get to change and resistance. And long story short, the more likely you are to fold. I'm like, uh, I guess this is what my life is. Me working at this damn warehouse or me working at a job that I hate or I'm not smart enough for tech. You, you would just start accepting things because that's the easiest thing to do. And you're not comfortable being uncomfortable. Almost every day I do something that makes me feel uncomfortable. I try something new, do something new. And that's what I've been successful. And I already know that 2021 is going to be, oh, wait a minute. Look at me messing up. 2022 is where the hell we at. That's what, that's what, that's, that's what year it is. Uh, 2022 is going to be my most successful year yet. And it's going to continue to grow. And I hope that is true for you as well. Other than that. I'll see you in class.